Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop. But well, before we start with that, let me just say that this game is for mature audiences only. So if you're not uh, okay with naughty bits or you have people in the room that uh, might not be okay with it or kids or whatever, get them out of here. Anyway, back onto the show. On the tabletop, we have the game Dirty Dough by Spin Master. Dirty Dough is for three or more players, takes about 30 minutes to play the game, and in the game you're basically going to be getting a big tub of dough here. This dough is dough in one hand, mind in the gutter, and you just got a big chunk of it. You got blue and you got red here, and you'll be using it to make different things. Now in the game you're going to be also getting a die and a bunch of other stuff I'll show you, but you roll the die. And then you're going to uh, choose a card and choose a card from the top of the deck. And then they're going to be different words like side boob or blow job or needle. You know, you get the idea. And you're going to then try to make it out of the clay and it's kind of a guessing game. There's also some additional stuff in the game that changes the way the game is played and it comes with some other unique little bits here. So let me go ahead and check down below what the components of the game are going to be and then I'll give you an example of a round of play. Here's the game Dirty Dough and all the components as you can see. You've got the box here, you've got the dough here that come with two different types of dough, red and blue. You're going to have this here which is a rule book, basically just one simple page back and front as well as these little skulls who you can use to make people and then a big stack of cards some of the cards uh, you're going to have just straight up uh, words on them and then there's actually a couple of them that you can actually make your own words on them somewhere where, wherever they may be here's one right here and uh, then you're going to also get a sand timer as well as this die here Deadpool not included he just wanted to hang out uh, in the game it's pretty simple that's how it works out if you're playing the competitive mode without teams you're going to just have people go around in a circle first player is going to pick up one of these cards get the dough everybody else will get the timer you'll uh, have the player roll a die and based on the card here so let's go ahead and pick a random one out of the stack uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, Roll the die and then check to see which one you're doing. So this one will be Jiggle. It's a sexy act and it is a dirty deed. So you'll explain the category and the hint to people. And then after that, you'll hide it. Make sure they don't see what the card says. Jiggle is the one you're doing. Uh, and then they're going to flip over the sand timer. When they do that, you're going to take these dough out have this dough out and you're going to make basically uh, basically you're going to try and make jiggle and however you want to do that <laughs> is up to you. Uh, you can choose to use both types of dough if you'd like and of course red would go with this one here for I guess I believe female and this one here for male just so you have an idea of how to make the cards and you can utilize these you can also utilize pretty much anything you want maybe you want to use Deadpool here to make something uh, on there you can go ahead and use that as well and players are going to basically try and guess what it is you're sculpting from this dirty dough here um, if they can guess it before the sand timer runs out they're gonna get one of these cards here and if they don't the card is gonna go on the bottom of the deck and the next player to the left is going to get a chance to go if somebody does guess it that card card will go to the player that guessed it correctly and they are going to be the new sculptor and the game will continue until somebody gets three of these dirty dough cards. The way it works for the team variant of the game is pretty simple. If me and Grant were on a team, my cameraman, and I was the sculptor, he would flip this timer over, I would try and have him guess it to gain points, it would go into the next team and the next team and the next team and so on and so forth. You would still utilize this die and the die here are going to have the different sides and whatnot. Uh, the last little thing I didn't talk about which is these guys over here. These are going to be the different things you can add to the game such as I guess penalties or uh, they have a bunch of different variants as to how you can kind of include these here the dirty dough cards here's what you need to know before you start diddle diddling with your dough there's three categories of clues for each of the categories sexy and then you've got disgusting stuff uh, you can use stuff like this one here which is do it one-handed adding a sexy mannequin to the game uh, just do it straight up dough sculpting you got this so you can kind of change the game variant depending on these things as you flip them over you can utilize them kind of how Ever you would like and they have multiple different types of things here but that's the basic idea of the game as far as dirty toe goes I'm not gonna go ahead and sculpt these things for the cards but I think you get an idea we'll go up ahead and talk about some of the cards and what they're gonna be it's raunchy though just to let you know so if, if, if you got the idea you don't need to continue but if you want to see what's on the cards as well as what I think about the game then come above with me all right, so you have a good idea of how Dirty Dough is going to be being played, right? And it's a big stack of cards here. And luckily on each card is going to have three different categories and three different
different uh, things that happen, like happy endings, slipping the bird, dry humping, the bearded clam, sexting, a hernia, double D's, a stroke, a balloon knot, whatever that is, one night stand, foot fetish, toilet brush, bubble butt twerking, and a facelift, stacked, a donkey show, silent but deadly fart, an SBD, those things I had when I was a kid, a G string, a pony plug, and a jock strap. It goes on and on. Some of these things are a little more heinous than other, and some of them are actually going to probably have to look up on Urban Dictionary if you don't know. But otherwise, some of them are actually pretty okay, you know? I mean, pork is not super bad. Projectile vomit or uh, 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 constipation, you know. But some of them can be a little raunchy. Would I have any kids uh, under the age of 17 or 18 playing this game? Probably not. It is in itself sexual, uh, but that is a good adult style party game. It's something that's a little more than something as a Spencer's gift give, give, uh, style thing, but on the same hand, it's also as dirty as one of those things at the same time. Uh, as far as the rules go, you have no reason as a sculptor to, to, to make it do, make the sculpt correctly, to make, make people gain the points in the basic competitive mode, but then again, why would you play anyway if you weren't going to follow the rules like that? So. Realistically, if you want a deep strategy game, obviously this is not... I mean, this is kind of one of those games where you'll see it, you understand how it's played, and you'll say, okay, I like this, or no, no, this is definitely not the game for me. It's You're, you're going to be in one of those two ballparks. It gives you enough of everything that you'll need to play the game, but I have used different things like pens and pencils and whatnot. Me and my wife and a bunch of our friends have played this in a party scenario. Uh, drinks were involved, and that's where it was probably... That was definitely where it was played the best. We played it by ourselves, uh, like three or four of us, and it was okay there, but this is definitely one of those party-setting games. Adding these to the mix is really cool, too. Sexy mannequin and whatnot. If you want to get a little more active in your gameplay, it's something I would suggest. Playing in the team mode is much better than the basic competitive mode because then you have more stakes and it gets a little more challenging. Uh, the components are nice. The box is beautiful. Spin Master does a great job in their games. Uh, that's pretty much what I got for this one. Overall, I enjoyed the game. I can see why people wouldn't like it and I can also see why people would really enjoy it. It's going to be either on your side of the fence or not. Definitely check it out on uh, the description below if it's something you'd be interested in. Dirty Dough, Dough in Hand, Mind in the Gutter by Spin Master.